friends welcome to Aisha's DIY this is a macrame bracelet tutorial it's a BB craft collab uh, tutorial actually uh, from BB craft I I already did the unboxing video and one more video on this uh, super cute macrame bracelets this I did with um, these colors actually so these two and these two it came out very pretty and it's pretty easy and I'm gonna do uh, make one more bracelet with uh, the cream color cord that I got there's a 28 spool there is uh, 28 different colors of spools of cord in that package I will leave down the description box below um, the item link that you can purchase there is also a coupon code for 10% off I shoot 10 A I S H U 10 and um, you can use it for your um, uh, purchase any purchase is fine uh, there is a 10 percent off of this and this one is a 6 by 8 millimeter faceted rounder in this a uh, matte gold color i picked up this uh, for this project and uh, every spool as a starting point and there is a small um, sp slit over here so you can store uh, your edge from now on so for example for this bracelet um, I'm gonna take about say we need two of the base cords and uh, one of the nodding cords okay the base cords will be somewhere around um, say let's say 30 okay and fifty uh, centimeters okay two of the fifty centimeters is what we need for the base cord okay so that will be the base cord and then we need the knotting cord the knotting cord should be so mm, this one is about say 50 so three times 50 centimeters will be 150 centimeters right which is 30 60 90 120 and 150 and cut it okay so I take all three cords and um, the middle cord is the longest cord that we have which is the 150 centimeter and then I go ahead and about say 15 centimeter or so okay tie an over here knot yeah it's less than 15 centimeter but this seems to be okay for me we can do the sliding knot and the closure that's fine let's see how many inches it is it's about say five inches which is okay you can also yeah, that should be fine now I'm going to use the beetle on tying station you can use the naughty do doll or you can use just um uh, tray or anything you can clipboard will do anything is fine so I'm just going to move this up and place all these three cords underneath okay and then tighten my wing nut right here okay so now that is secure what I'm gonna do here is um, separate my cords The center needs to be the longest and the right and the left right so take my right cord 
this has a big enough hole but doesn't then you can burn the edges um, just pop one towards the left of my the leftmost cord pop bead take the center cord okay go over under and pull through we are going to do the locks or not okay then under over and pull through don't worry about it I will do this several times you guys will get an idea of what it is that's what it is now that is secure now take the rightmost cord and pop a bead in that okay just like that take that uh, center cord and over under and pull through okay then under over and pull through okay see that the cross forming that's what we want now we are going to do this alternatively so take the leftmost card pop a bead in see this one is a little bit frayed so I can take my lighter and cinch the end of it it'll be easy for you to thread in the beads so there there it is take this one leave the leftmost card take the center one over under and pull through okay just like a six and then under over and pull through okay so you can basically use any cord you want any uh, bead you want and any cord you want as long as the bead goes through the cord that's fine now again this is also a little bit difficult for me why not right make it really easy there we go now pop the bead take this cord go over under and pull through see how the six is formed now pull that pull that to our bead work then under over and through the loop pull through okay now take the leftmost cord and pop a bead in so you will do until uh, you reach the length of the bracelet that you want to uh, minus one inch because we are going to do the sliding knot and when we do the sliding knot when we do the sliding knot we will take at least one inch of that so if your wrist is seven inch wrist then you will stop when you reach six inches of this beaded and macrame portion then we will do the sliding knot so I keep on doing this until I reach where I have to reach if you can see here you can see the lock said knot if you are not aware of what a lock said knot is so you go ahead and watch the basic macrame knots tutorial on my channel then uh, it'll it is very easy knots and you will be you will be you know you'll be actually surprised to see how easy it is to make these knots so there is a lot of different designs that you can do when you learn these knots i love macrame as you guys all know i will continue doing this and then come back when i'm done with six inches of this beaded and macrame portion hi friends welcome back i finished about say six inches as you guys can see here uh, if i keep it it's exactly at the six inch point i have a seven inch wrist size so that's why i finished up till six inches and now i'm good to go 
all I need to do here is I have finished this end I'll show you guys exactly how I finish this end as well see this I have stopped it here I take all three cords and wrap it around my fingers it's an overhand knot with all three cords together right drive it around and then pull all three cords in inside the loop and then bring the loop you can use your tweezers if you want to or tweezer nose pliers whichever you have available go through it or or in my case it actually comes down to that so I don't have to do anything about it so the knot will be here there will be a little bit lag here but that's okay um, just make sure that it's nice and tight pull every individual cords together and this is what you will have and this is the start of it this is the end of it and this is what you will have so now uh, these things so I have a little bit more so instead of say 50 inches I would say you can forego let me see um, you still need some so you can forego five more inches for so 45 um, centimeter five more centimeters so it's still I have some 20 centimeter or so but I really need about say 10 centimeter so you can forego like five to eight centimeters so probably instead of 50 you can go for 42 centimeter or so so this part what I did was I really like my naughty do it all more than anything else so I just put it over here and then you don't need this one I just have this so that you guys can see exactly what I'm doing right here let me adjust the camera a bit okay so all I do is uh, make a braid so it's a regular braid but I wanted to do it loosely I don't want it to be very tight you can do it tightly as well it's totally up to you but since I did loosely on the other side I also want to do loosely on this side as well and just um, regular uh, braid three strand braid and So about say this, yes, that's okay. So now take this cord and wrap it around your fingers and do an overhand knot with all three cords together. Actually see this much is only left. I think you can take 50 centimeter. Maximum 45 is what the limit is. Um, so after doing that knot, okay, make sure the longest cord that you have actually I will tell you guys how much less you can take for the longest cord I am going to cut that longest cord uh, leaving a little bit of a tail I have quite a lot left so it's better to have more than less so this one see this just melt it down take these two ends actually I am not worried about this end at all I really need this much so 50 centimeter is what um, you can have nicely and neatly if you want to you know go easy on your cord and make it easier on yourself there you go push that bead down then go ahead and tie an overhand knot and bring that right next to that bead okay pop like that and then you can snip it off and melt those ends okay 
this is what you will have now let's do the um, sliding knot so I just put these cords together okay so this is how much is left with the base cord so it's okay right to have this much it's perfectly fine and then the long cord that we got which is what mm, 150 centimeter and this is how much is left there's a lot of left lot that is left but we can use this to do the sliding knot the adjustable knot so I will not do the half because it's long so I'm just going to do here about say six to eight inches is more than enough for this uh, sliding knot and I'm going to do the square knots the P's and Q's don't do it very the tight. square knot if you are not aware of uh, what the square knots is please go ahead and watch my tutorial on basic square knots you will get to know the lock side knot the square knot the lock side knot is the one that we used here and the square knot is the one which we are using for the adjusting clasp and as I said it's not difficult don't get uh, discouraged by the name of it it is it is very simple it's not that uh, hard at all um, so now uh, the last knot I'm going to put is this one right here you don't have to put the square knot very tight if you do it will be difficult to slide on and off now I shall take this cord and this end I can toss it leaving a little bit gap the same here I have here quite some let me see eight about say 10 inches left um so 10 inches will be um say 25 centimeter or so so yeah 22 something like that so here we go take your lighter and just burn it burn it burn it and it'll be a little bit hot so just be mindful of that so now we have our bracelet ready and it's really pretty um, I feel it has come out really well this is how much is left and this is a short piece and see this you can do this bracelet with um, the Chinese knotting cord the 0.8 millimeter Chinese knotting cord uh, we have different sizes in BB craft but this one is a 0.8 millimeter and goes comfortably in the roundel so that's also again um, a good thing so let me just wear it around my wrist and show it to you guys how pretty they are this is how it looks I really like the way it turned out to be the cream color is the color that I fell in love with actually in the entire spool this color and this color seems to be really pretty as well combination would be awesome as well uh, but I really like the way these bracelets turned out to be as you guys can see the colors are really pretty um, do check out the links in my description box to buy these spools from BB craft and also uh, I do upload videos couple of times a week please give it a thumbs up if you like this video subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon for notification and share this video with your friends and family see you until next time bye bye